Hey guys, it's Chris from Highland Guitars, and you're watching another episode of From the Luthiers Workbench. In this episode, I am going to let you watch as I assemble this new awesome workbench from Armor Tool. And afterwards, I'm going to explain some of the features and benefits of using this workbench and why you might want to consider one for your workshop. So let's jump in and get started. As you might imagine, Shipping the bench fully assembled would be extremely expensive. Fortunately, as you'll see in this video, assembly is a piece of cake. All of the parts of the frame are made of powder-coated heavy gauge steel. No plastic or aluminum. As you assemble the frame, it's recommended that you hand tighten all of the nuts and bolts initially. They'll be tightened later on with a wrench. Each leg is assembled from two parts, and all four are identical. So you don't have to worry about which extension goes with which leg. However, you need to make the legs the same length by fitting the lower extension into the inside of the leg while making sure each is extended from the end of the leg by the same number of square bolt holes. The shorter side braces are all the same and are bolted to the inside of a pair of legs at the top and just below the middle. Once you have the two pairs of legs assembled together with the short side braces, they can be connected together with the lower front and rear longer braces. These braces are the same, except the front and rear lower braces have the Armor Tool logo printed on the outside, and you'll need to make sure the logo is oriented correctly. With the frame assembled and the bolt hand tightened, you can flip the frame over and position it on the back side of the butcher block maple top. It should be noted that there are no pilot holes for the screws. They aren't needed. However, that means you have to be thoughtful when positioning the frame. To attach the top, you'll need an electric hand drill with a long reach Phillips screwdriver bit. After the top has been attached to the frame, the casters are attached with an included three-quarter inch nut to the bottom of the leg extension. Once you're satisfied all is well, grab a wrench and start tightening all of the previously hand-tightened bolts. While the table is still in its upside down position, take a step back and look at where the bottom of the caster wheels will be in contact with the floor. That's how tall your bench will be after flipping it over. If you want to change the height, now is the time to do it. Just unbolt the extensions, raise or lower them, and bolt them back to the legs. Now you can flip the bench over and start using it. Okay guys, uh, the Armor Tool workbench is now fully assembled and ready to be put to work here in the shop. And as far as assembly was concerned, it was incredibly easy to put this together. I think I consulted the instruction sheet maybe once at the very beginning just to kind of orient myself. After that, I just put the whole thing together and it took maybe an hour. Um, I, I would recommend uh, for some of you to at least consider having somebody to help you with regards to handling the top. Uh, this is a one and a half inch thick butcher block maple top and it only weighs about 50 pounds, but because of its dimensions, it's kind of awkward to work with. And some of you may find it helpful to have somebody when you go to tip the table uh, back over or even just to move the table to wherever it is you're gonna assemble it because it is pretty heavy. At any rate, you're probably also wondering what is the advantage of purchasing and assembling a workbench like this as opposed to, say, building, you know, designing and building your own workbench? Well, 
I have made a bunch of my own uh, workbenches over the years. In fact, right now I've got one, two, three, and if you counted the buffer and the drum sander, four or five. So, and these are just the ones that I have here currently. I've, I've had a lot of others over the years that I've scrapped and gotten rid of. Uh, the time it takes to design and build your own workbench can be fairly considerable. Uh, there's also uh, having to source all the parts and oftentimes it means having to make multiple runs to pick up parts that you didn't know you needed. With the Armor Tool Bench, you get everything and you don't have to worry about you know, how you're going to attach the legs to the top because all those screws and everything are included with the kit when you buy it. Nothing has to be sourced. It's all right there. And the other problem with workbenches that you typically will design and build for yourself is it always seems like once they're done, you wish you'd done it a little bit differently because you start to find that they aren't always as um, useful and versatile or flexible as you need the bench to be. And that's kind of the problem I ran into with this one. You know, it's, it's a little bit wobbly, and unfortunately, it can be a little bit difficult to use as far as clamping, um, you know, boards and such as I'm getting ready to work on them. I have to try to figure out how I'm going to clamp it down, and then I've got to figure out how I'm going to maneuver around the bench as I'm working on the part. With the Armor Tool Bench, you have all these holes drilled in the top, and these holes are designed to accept... Uh, Armor Tools, wide variety of clamping tools. And because of the way this is designed, you're not limited to any one particular area. You've got this entire surface in which to plan out how you're going to clamp your project down as you're about to work on it. And let me kind of give you an example and show you what I'm talking about. These are fences that Armor Tools sells as accessories for the bench. And this is a four inch, this is an eight inch, and I know that they make a longer one as well, which I'll probably pick up because these things are really useful. But you can set those you know, into the, to the bench top. And then let's say I wanted to work on a piece of mahogany. And you know, um, maybe I want to plane the top, who knows drill some holes in it, whatever. I can place it on the top of the bench and right up against the fence here. And then I have a couple of options for how I'm going to clamp it down. Uh, for example, let's say, like I said, I was going to clamp or I was going to plane the top. I could simply use a couple of their side clamps. And these, they call them dog clamps because they have this provision for fitting into the dog holes on the top of the bench. But I can um, place those into the, to the dog holes and then tighten them into position so that they remain stationary. Run the clamps up against the side and then clamp it down. And this thing ain't going anywhere and I can start to plane. I can clamp it this way anywhere on this surface and not have to worry about how I'm going to maneuver around the work. And then if I would need to you know, flip it around, it's just a matter of flipping it around, no problem, and I'm ready to continue working. That to me is worth the price of admission. Now let's say I was going to drill some holes in the top, and I wanted to hold it down um, in a different manner, uh, without, you know, rather than using these side clamps, I have the option of using, a, I've got a couple of these hold down clamps, and I just simply drop that in clamp it. It's not going anywhere. Okay, well I hope that you find this video to be useful and maybe it gives you some ideas about how you could put Armor Tool products to work in your shop. And if you have any comments or questions, just post them down below. If you don't already subscribe, hit that subscribe button, click the bell notifications, all that good stuff. And I hope that you have a great weekend, a great week ahead, and we're going to see you soon.